It should be live right now. Just double check it real quick. Oh, oh. <clears throat> My main page. Yeah, it's a pop up. Is it live? All right, cool. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Shalom. Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Also, double honors. To the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who we'll will teach you on the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, you know, a lot of things are happening, all right? You have the stock markets that are basically, you know, crashing, okay? It was so bad that they had to close the market. Right. It was that bad that they just had to stop trade, okay? You know, oil prices, it just it basically just shot down, which well, that's a, it, it plummeted, which is affecting the markets. Then you got this coronavirus, which is just, you know, de destroying the, the global economy right now, man. All right? Because it's, you know, you got people uh, getting quarantined. Certain uh, uh, countries or states, you can't even enter into uh, these areas because it's on um, lockdown right now. All right? Yeah, yeah. Everything's uh, quarantined. Yeah. Okay? Hey, they, they, they counseling um, ships. Like, if you um, on a, a trip, on a, a boat... You can't sail to certain uh, places. Hey, they said that uh, they stopped this ship uh, uh, for uh, sh uh, basically selling to Orlando. Now it's going to California. Because uh, California uh, declared the, uh, a state of emergency, right? And they're going to test them people off them uh, that ship. Yep. So a lot of these things is, is playing up, man. Italy just just uh what had a lockdown, nineteen million people. It went up now. Yeah. 19, damn, because it was sixteen million. Or seventeen or something was, like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was sixteen, seventeen million, um, Saturday. Yeah. And I'm sure it probably jumped up to nineteen million, man. Yeah. Yeah. This stuff is serious, man. This is serious business, man. Yeah. And that's because what Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is uh, starting to overthrow this kingdom. That's right. And they say uh, flights is being canceled. You can't go to Italy. You can't go to Egypt. You can't go to Iran. You can't go to uh, 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 Lebanon. Lebanon. You can't go a lot of uh, places overseas, man. Because, hey, North Korea, South Korea, man, China. You can't go to these countries, man. So I imagine when these things come over here. Hey, because what? We have, uh, I looked it up, uh, we have eight states. In America, that's declare a uh, state of emergency. Yep. Uh, I forget all of them, but uh, New, New York, York yep. uh, San Francisco, uh, California, uh, Washington, uh, Texas, uh, Florida. So it's a lot of these states. Uh, it's basically finna uh, intimate martial law because of this coronavirus, man. Yeah, and it's going to fuck up the economy, man. Because business is not, people not going to work. No, I got this in uh, 2 Ezra 15. I'm going to start at 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And we're seeing that, all right? We're seeing um, uh, uh, much warfare going on worldwide, okay? You're seeing the destruction. You're seeing pestilence, which is the, our diseases, okay? Famines are in certain parts of the world, okay? And it's going to hit here in America very soon, too. Because, you know, it... it um, Hasn't been talked about a lot, but last you know uh, last year, we were talking about this for a minute. How you had all the um, those crops, they either got flooded out or they got um, they got hit with frost, man. That's right. Okay. Then you had what when those floods were going um, out there in Iowa, basically in the uh, the Midwest, it wasn't just killing the crops; it was killing livestock. Yeah. Okay. So, a lot of um, a lot of food was uh, basically destroyed, man. All right, and then even right now, due to this coronavirus, you have a lot of food that's sitting in these shipping containers, okay, not being used. They're just sitting there. They can, and they can't, um, you know, obviously take it off the, you know, off the, the boats. You know, they, they, they can't, you know, can't uh, floor. you yeah. can't, you can't um, ship it out, man. All right, because they're afraid. Why? Because of the coronavirus. So that's going to create a famine. That's why right now you have a lot of people, what are they doing? They're going to the Costco's, the Sam's Clubs, all right, all these, you know, grocery stores and buying stuff in bulk. They're getting the water, you know, their canned goods, rice, beans, so on and so forth, man. Okay? And it says here in uh, verse 6, and this is why this is happening. 
For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is sending these things, these plagues, okay, to the world. Because if Yahweh Bashim Yahushai didn't send these plagues, what would happen? People's wickedness would increase. All right, their pride will get higher. They will start, you know, believing. Um, they will start leaning unto their own understanding, believing that their ways are right. Which, if you're not following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's nothing but wickedness. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord said, I think it's in the book of Psalms. Uh, or maybe Job, I forget where it's at, but it says something under the lines of, man at his best is vanity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because nothing good is going to come out of man. And why is that? Because your flesh is going to uh, taint, all right, your um, decision making. Yeah. All right? That's because uh, when uh, you and you rule over in your flesh, you are basically sin. Hey, what's the wages of the sin? It's death. That's right. And that's what people is, is choosing over, over, over righteousness, man. And that's not the way to go, man. Mm -hmm. Verse um, 7, or, yeah, verse 7. Thus say, therefore uh, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Mm -hmm. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And, and that's what you see, the elect, all right? They're constantly complaining. They're 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 praying to Yahweh Bashim to get out of this situation. That's right. We're tired of it. We're 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 stressed out. We're worn out. All right. We're tired of uh, the flesh that we're in. We're tired of being under the rulership of these heathens. Okay. We want justice and equity in this world. That's right. Okay. And we want these things to happen, man. We want this coronavirus to keep spreading. We want them to lock the city down because if you in your right mind. Man, that's the only way we're going to get to the kingdom. The Lord said we have to go through dark times and parable times, man, to get what? To the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord have to, to uh, judge these nations and all you wicked people upon your acts, man. He promised that, man. And he said he was going to what? Deliver the nation of Israel, the elect, out of these judgments, man. So prophecy must be fulfilled. The Lord said he's a man and he can't lie. Right. So he got these things set up for a appointed time. Which is speaking loud and clear. All praise to Yahweh Bashem Awashai, man. For the elect. That's why we cry. We cry and we've been crying for for years, man. Look on the apostles for years, man. And now these things happening. Yep. Verse 9. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Mm -hmm. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. Okay, and you're seeing that. You're seeing the yeah. Lord, you know, he's gathering his elect. Yeah. He's not going to allow the elect to get um, hurt, okay? You know, the, 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 the well, there are going to be some, you know, elect men that are going to have to be martyred. But, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, save his elect. That's okay? right. But the rest of you people? <laughs> oh. Through. See, if you die for Yahweh Bashem El you're going to get a great reward. That's right. Okay? You're, yeah, you're in a win-win situation, man. Okay? This is uh, verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand. And they stretch our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. And you're seeing that. The Lord is sending these plagues out, okay? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And there's more going on, too. The main thing is this coronavirus. But, hey, there's what? There's been tornadoes going on in the Midwest. That's Just right. thrashing stuff, man. Yeah, thrashing things, man. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. You got them uh, locusts. Oh, that the elder Malcolm was talking about. You got man. you got locusts out there in the land of Egypt, and basically in that whole like northern African region, yeah, northeastern yeah. uh, African region. They are literally uh, just devouring um, these villages and cities uh, food sources. That's right. Because he was saying that basically one swarm will come in, mm -hmm. devour stuff, you know, fill up, leave, and then another <laughs> swarm will come <laughs> in. All right. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Because the Lord is showing his power. That's right. The Lord is really actually trying to declare his name again upon the earth. That which you people forgot, first and foremost, the nation of Israel. But all you fucking nations, man. All you other nations forgot the power of Yahweh Bashem Hey, a lot of these things is happening for our two-thirds of our people, but actually for you nations, man. So that you can understand that, hey, don't never touch the apple of the Lord's eye, man. It's not a game, man. The Lord uh, is going to uh, set us back on high, man. You don't have next. We do, man. Yeah, shit. Everyone thought Moab was going to be next. All right? 
We were laughing about that at the Passover. Shit. Hey, these guys are coughing out fucking blood and dropping dead. Yeah. Hey, the, the, hey, Moab become the new nigga, man. Yeah. That's right. And um, it says here in, um, what was that? Uh, verse um, 12, not verse 12. Yeah. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High Yahweh shall bring upon it. And it's mourning a lot, so like it. Because guess what? Hey, they shutting down schools. Hey, they, uh, the stock market is plunging, man. Oil prices, <laughs> all of these things. You yeah. got it, brother. <laughs> I was going to say, out here in Chicago, and the brother, uh, the mighty brother Shakti, he uh, sent an article out saying that basically one of the schools uh, uh, out here in Chicago shut down, man. Yeah. All right? Because they, they, somebody had the coronavirus, man. All right? And we see, well, we already knew because uh, there's a suburb out here called Arlington Heights. They, they, they reported that, what, last week that there was a, uh, they had cases out there. And we already knew if it's in Arlington right. Heights, it's definitely here in Chicago. This is the major city, man. But th when it first started, they already said it was a, a, a couple cases in Chicago. <laughs> they said, well, out west, like the west-north uh, region, man. He said a man and a woman had it, man. So it's been here, and then it just reported, um, I believe, uh, if I'm mistaken, I, I heard it on the news, that uh, um, Antrac, it was a, lady, uh, a man or a lady, that uh, uh, that they uh, basically that drove the uh, Amtrak from either from St. Louis or it, I can't uh, get around, but she drove it and they trying to round out everybody that was on that train mm. because they think everyone is exposed from the, from the coronavirus. That's right. Yep, and it says uh, verse thirteen: They that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail, and through the blasting and hell, and with a fearful consolation. That goes into what we were talking about with the. Uh, the tornadoes, you had the, the the floods, okay, the the, the frost, yeah, kill all these plants, so, you know the hail, yeah. all right, because I mean shit, you go, what was it in Australia? They had all them fires, and yeah. they had what all that hail come know, down, yeah. destroying right, stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord's not playing. And let me get this real quick too, off. Well, I'm gonna I jump. I'm gonna jump real quick to Second Ezra chapter six verse. Tw let me see if I should start at twenty one. Let me check twenty one real quick. The yeah, I'll just yeah, I'm gonna get to the point. This is uh uh second Ezra six and twenty two. And suddenly shall the sowing places appear unsown. Mm -hmm. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, right. and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, um they shall suddenly be af they shall be suddenly afraid. And it says, At that time shall friends fight one another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the uh, of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Okay, and then th this is going into your you basically your food sources, man, and your water supply. Okay, that hey, the Lord is gonna cut it, man. He's gonna cut all your 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 food supplies off, all your water so, you know supplies and sources off, man. And you people are gonna turn into animals. That's right. You're gonna fight one another. Everyone's gonna be scared. Everyone's gonna be angry, frustrated. No one's gonna have answers. Except who? The men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. That's right. it. Alright, and then and those are the ones who are gonna get shielded and protected. The rest of you people, you're gonna die terribly, man. Terribly. Uh -huh. And these these things are coming, man. We already see it, man. We see it. Look, you you you're gonna they're not even reporting. I guarantee you, man, there's you, you got all these people that work in the um in this uh what's it, the uh, Wall Street, okay? They're, they're, I guarantee you they're killing themselves right now, man. Yeah, they losing their mind because they losing hope in, in this society, man. Yep. That's why uh, you see a lot of these uh, people are pulling their the stocks out. That uh, they not uh, going to things, man. Uh, investing more, man. It's all because they they are fearing and seeing that this place is not going to go on. Yeah, the market's unstable. Yeah. So I for it. You got it, brother. Yeah. The, the basically the the market's unstable. They're, it's uncertain right now. So everyone's scared to invest. They're pulling out, man. Because they don't want to lose, they, basically they, they don't want to invest all this money and then just take a huge L. Yeah. So with that happening, what's going to happen? That's going to slow down businesses, which we're already in what? In a retail apocalypse. Absolutely. We're in a weak economy. So what, what's that going to mean? You people are going to lose your jobs, man. Yeah. You're going to have nothing. Nothing. All right? Especially, and that's the whole uh, design of the elites. That's why uh, it's called New World Order, man. Because they want to uh, start up this uh, chaos 
establish order. And what's that order? It's going to the mark of the beast, man. That's why you're starting to see that the stock market, which we've been prophesying for years, that was going to crash. We've been saying that uh, they, uh, the dollar is going to crash because they have a new system that's being set up right before your eyes. Why do you think uh, for years you're starting to see automation get tra uh, transferred to these businesses, man? When you go downtown or you go into these grocery stores, you get uh, uh, you scan your, your, your chip. They just put a uh, dial on your mind so when they put the chip inside you, it's easy process, man. Why you think they already been reporting because of the coronavirus that uh, people uh, for cash uh, don't have cash? Do transactions with your credit cards yeah. or with your debit cards? Because guess what? They don't want to uh, uh, say that uh, you your, the disease get on your money and you transaction with a person, man. So they already telling you that that uh, they trying to do away with cash, which we've been on a, de a decline, a, uh, basically a cash in society for the last three years, man. People don't even use cash no more because they fear uh, they gonna get robbed mm -hmm. and everything, which is stupid. Because hey, how many hackers it is, that, man? That was just gonna mention it. It just so they're gonna cut out the cash. Yeah, people are using the debit, but they're gonna cut that out. How are they gonna do that? They're gonna. That's why the past like what like five four years you've been hearing about what hackers fraud. Okay, it actually happened to me, man. All right, I had a situation happen where I, uh, somebody um. Even my woman, too, man. We had some sh shit happen, man. Two separate occasions, bro. All right? And then, the, so what the, What are they going to do? Everything is going to lead, lead to, to the, the chip. chip. The chip, man. They, we have the solution. This RFID microchip. It's your identification card. It has your medical records. It has, um, uh, it's going to identify you whether you be a terrorist or not. Yeah. Okay? They're, 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 it's going to have everything, man. Tracking device, man. Tracking device, all of that. That's right. I got a couple... Uh, in Leviticus uh, uh, 24, I mean uh, 26 and 24, then will also walk contrary to you. So like, let me start at 23. It say, and if you would not be reformed by me, by these things, but I will walk contrary to me, then will also walk contrary to you. Mm -hmm. And I will punish you yet seven times for your sins, man. And so you know seven mean what? Completion, right? And I will bring a sword upon you that you shall avenge the plan of my covenant, and when you are gathered together into your city, I will send the pestilence among you, and you shall be delivered into the hands of your enemy. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall break your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied, man. And that's going into that famine, man. Because, hey, a lot of you people... uh. Uh, misuse the luxury of, of food, man. Hey, just because you can go and get this and uh, uh, get that, and that luxury is about to be over, man. Imagine uh, a woman trying to uh, bake uh, uh, for a uh, house for, man. It's not going to be enough, man. A woman, uh, it say, so like you, it say, when I have broken the staff of the bread, meaning cut off the, this, this, this shipment, the, the way you eat, right? It say, Ten women shall break your bread in one oven. Imagine that. Ten women in one big-ass oven, man. And you trying to feed a group of people. The Lord is going to cut this, this whole society out, man. Because of all your sins, because of all the, things, the wickedness you have done against the Lord, man. The Lord is ain't playing. Hey, camelism is coming on a mad scale, man. Let's get that. There's limitations. So lock your brother. Yeah, it's going to happen because of the lack of bread. See, after a few days, all right, of not eating, especially here in America, okay, these people, they can't even eat or, or not eat within like six hours, man. They start losing their damn minds, man. Six hours. All right, shit, I'm giving, I'm being generous too, probably less than that, all right? So give them two, three days, man. All right, they're going to lose it. Hey, by the end of the week, they, 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 these people, they, they're literally going to look, start looking at their children or their, you know, their older mom or whatever. <laughs> like, like, like in the cartoons, you know, that the person becomes a goddamn hamburger or a hot dog and stuff. Come. They're going to start looking at them like they're food, man. Like, literally. That's they're going to start getting, uh, you know, demons are going to be on them. They're going to start uh, hallucinating. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They're going to start uh, eating each other, man. That's right. All right? And then once you start eating, man, once you start eating people, man... You're just gone. That's why in the movie, um, 
what is that? Uh, shit, all shit, of them. Uh, 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 no, what, what's the one with um, with um, Denzel Washington? Uh, uh fuck, man, now I am legend. What's the? That's Will Smith. Uh, the Book of Eli. Book of Eli. That's yeah. why when um he went into the shop, he told him to like basically put his hands out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see if he had the shakes. Right, yeah. All right. Just basically to see if he was fucking eating people or not. If he was a cannibal. You know what I mean? Because hey, you start eating people, you start losing your damn mind, man. Yeah. Okay? That's right. You know? And P- like, people are... Uh, you're going to be through, man. Through. Yeah, because, yeah, hey, you... you, st- you It say warn you to trust me to Egypt, man. Egypt is falling, man. And the Lord uh, had the man and the Lord out here warning you for years, man, to get your shit right, man. So when these things come upon you, hey, hey good riddance. This lamentation, nine, I mean, four and nine. It say they be, they that be slain with the sword are better than they be slain with hunger. So it's better to have a quick, painful death than go through starvation, man. That's a long process. That's a long process, man. And with you people, hey, hey, these stores don't have enough food for a, a long supply, man. They showed in Italy, man. It was within a day, Ark. It wasn't even because they say, oh, three days. No, with when people know it's real, when things are shutting down. It's not even going to be a whole 24 hours, man. No. In Italy, the whole, these grocery stores were just, uh, from front to back, just all, everything was just gone. Go. Just gone. Go. All and, right? And, and just wait to America, man. Hey, these people don't, hey, it's already fucking, man, they were just fighting over water. And, and Costco's and Target and Walmart, they were fighting over water and, and paper towels and shit. So imagine in the stores. It's going to be chaos. Mm-hmm. These people don't have no bro. When they when they come down to fe- feeding your family, man, you're gonna really see the 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 animal in you people, man. It say, for they pine away, stricken through the warmth of the fruit of that field, man. And that's what it is because when your uh, body uh, deteriorated, it's gonna feed off its the fat, and then your mind gonna just start yeah. losing it, yeah, man. It feeds off the fat first, and after the fat, it goes to the muscle. muscle yeah, the muscle. And and. and, and and you know that that that's painful when your muscles are getting getting eating, it's deteriorating, yeah. and then your your uh, 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 brain uh, is a, it's just one big uh, muscles. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people start losing their mind when they're hungry. That's right. You know. That's right. It's a the hand of the pitiful woman have sodded their own children. Yeah. They that were uh me. Man, these people are gonna boil their own children, man. They're gonna boil them alive, man. They may kill. Who knows how they're gonna do? There's some sick people out here, man. It's fucked you up. You know, man. they say they were the meat and the destruction of the daughter of my people, man. And that's what it is. Cause hey, the Lord told you uh, this that these things was gonna happen, man. We prophesied with this in the beginning, man, that these things was gonna happen. But did you pay attention? No, no. It's kind of a uh, story. They say the things were running for four times, running and learning, man. Hey, what happened when there was a famine back in the, in the day, man? Hey, they was uh, 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 selling, uh, they was buying shit. You had that, uh, I forget who it was. I have to double check. It was in the Book of Kings. I'm going get But the, the one king, I forgot his name. He laughed at the woman. <laughs> you had this uh, woman he basically said, right uh, if you can give, if, but basically she she asked him, like, can you say uh, uh, my son and myself? And he said, basically, if, if I... If y'all about Shemal Shai can't do it, I, I, I can't, can't save it. you. That's what Esau gonna tell you people, man. And it's 2 Kings 6 and 24. It says, it's gonna come to pass out of this that behind King Assyria gathered all his hosts and went up to seize Assyria. And there was a great famine in Syria, and behold, they besieged it until it uh, as head was sold for four score pieces of silver. And that was 80 silver, right? And the four part of a cow, a, a dove. Uh, I mean, dove dumb was five pieces of silver. So, some shit. Bird shit, right? And as the king of Israel would pass by upon the wall, they cried a woman to him, saying, Help, my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, what shall I help thee out of the bomb for of out of the uh, wine press, man? And that's what. Because, <laughs> look, you're going to even have a lot of people start coming up to us. Yeah. And we're going to tell them, Look, if basically, if Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is not with you, we could do nothing for you. That's right. A lot of you people, because that's what's going to start happening too, man. You have all these scoffers, scorners, people that you've told over the years about the truth to give, right? Then when when this, start, this stuff starts really hitting, man, when it starts hitting home, then they're going to want to do what? Run to you. Yeah. 
for 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 answers and protection. Yeah. And by that point, as the scriptures say, man, the prudent man is gonna keep silent, man, because the days are evil. That's right. It's what was the gonna? What is there to talk about? We've been talking, man. Yeah. I have nothing else to say to you. That's right. You wanted to be rebellious. Uh, it's a done deal, man. That's right. The fuck? Hey, twenty-eight. It say, and the king saying to her, "What I like thee?" And then she answered. The woman said to me, give thy son that we might eat for today, and we might eat my son tomorrow. So we bore my son and did eat him. And you got to really imagine that, okay, the whole process of this going down. You know, they're talking amongst themselves. You got to think about, like, you know, your adrenaline is pumping. Like, you're all, you know, losing it, okay? That, that, that's crazy, man. That, that's a, a tense situation. That's right. We're going to you know, eat my son one day. And another day we're gonna eat your son. That's hey, man. But, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord had to humble them, man. Yeah. Cause what was going on before this, man? Well, All right, what what was the Northern Kingdom doing? Yeah. They were g g uh, getting heavy into idol worship, man. Heavy into idol worship. Yeah, the same thing going on today. Yep. So the Lord had to do what? Humble the ass, man. That's right. It says, so we bore my son and did eat him, and I said to her on the next day, get thou son that. We might eat him. And she had hid her son. <laughs> and it came to pass when the king heard the word of the woman that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall and the people looked and behold her. He had sackcloth with it into his flesh. And that's what it was. Hey, it's not it's nothing going it's not gonna be no hope for you people, man. You're gonna starve, you gonna and then if you can't get your kids, you're gonna eat yourself. Oh, that's nice. I'll get it. Hey, these things is, is in Isaiah. Is, hey, you're going to see, man, the, the, the terrible of the Lord. And you're still going to get that mess of food, man. Because the Lord, hey, still have judgment that's going to come upon this earth. Yeah. We can't wait. This is Isaiah 9. I'm going to start at 19. Main points in 20. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is, in, is the land darkened. And the people shall be as fuel of the fire. Going back to what you're saying, you're going to be that missile food, man. That's right. All right, you're, you're literally just going to be there to uh, have that fire keep going. That's right. All right, a lot of you people are not, you're there, like, like I was saying, man, you're just there just to keep the fire going. It's like, you know, oh. you, you, you know, you barbecue something. What do you got to keep doing? You know, adding, you know, more coals or, you know, wood and, you know, you add your, you know, lighter fluid, you know, toss a match in there to keep what? The fire, fire going. going. <laughs> That's what you're there for. Keep things burning, man. No man shall spare his brother. And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. And he shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Mm. It's going to get that bad. After you eat your son, you know, your, your dad, your mom... Your daughter, your brother, your, 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 all your cats, dogs, yeah, all, yeah, that, all that stuff, man. Okay? You, they, these people are going to lose it, but they're going to just start eating themselves, man. That's right. You know? That's right. People are literally going to sever off their arm, man. Okay? It's going to be like in the movie um, Bad Batch. You know how they took off that chick's leg? Mm-hmm. You know? It, it just ate that piece, you know, one piece at a time. That's what, what's, what's going to happen. It's going to be like in the movie... Um, Shit, the road, man. All right? They, they went into that one house. They went downstairs in the basement, man. You had just people, like, uh, chained up, man. Some of them had, you know, missing limbs and stuff. Because why? They, 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 that, that group was eating them bit by bit, man. Bit by bit. That's what's going to happen out here. Just wait, man. Wait till they, they, let, they, they lock this city down, man. And it's already happening. Because what? New York said they uh, it's a um, mandatory quarantine. So that means you can't leave. You can't go nowhere. So imagine when you run out of food, what happened? Imagine if these things go on for months. Hey, China been on a, a quarantine for how long now? Yep, no people ain't long. leaving. Imagine they finna run out of food too. What's gonna happen? People get irritated. You can't You can't do certain things. Hey, hey, your freedom is, is taken away. Hey, guess what? They gonna uh, steal, they gonna uh, on a riot. They're going to want to uh, ask for want answers, man. And it's um, Luke 6 and 21. It say, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed ye are that weep now, 
for you shall laugh, man. And that's what's going to happen. We're going to laugh at you people in them days, man. We're going to uh, uh, be full in them days, man. The Lord said, my servants shall eat, man. We're going to be straight. And it said, uh, my servants shall uh, uh, be feeling that day and, and shall not be uh, thirsty, man. So guess what? When you're going through these pains and these sorrows, man, well, uh, you can't get a job or or you uh, homeless or whatever, man. We're going to be straight in those days. The Lord is going to take care of us, man. You got something? I got a couple. No, you got a fast one. Uh, Go going into the economy because you talked about the jobs and all that. All right? Because yeah. we're, we're getting into that phase, man. Yeah. All right? This is Zephaniah chapter 1. Yeah. I'm going to start at 10. And it shall come to pass, and that day saith the Lord, Yahweh, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. And this is going into your, like, markets, okay? All these places that, you know, serve you goods, you know, these restaurants, these um, uh, grocery stores, okay? Even the, um, uh, the, the, the docks, man, where they get all these, you know, supplies. If people are howling right now, they're crying, man. Yeah. You know, people are losing out on a lot of stuff right now. Yeah. And it's it's trickling down to you you peons, man. Uh, you you low-level servants. Hey, a lot of people, hey, they, like how you were saying, your job, they haven't been hiring people. Your yeah. overtime isn't there. You have people, you know, that, that are getting laid off. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You know, people uh, aren't working, man. Yeah. Verse 11. Well, so I can. My mama, uh, our OG... She working in like a medical field, right, up north. And they already uh, preparing them and everything and telling them that they have to work at home because of this quarantine, man. Yeah, they've been preparing for a while for this because um, my brother works in a medical field too. And he um, he works in a, like an ER like a position. I forgot exactly what. But out of nowhere, this was like months ago. This was like in October of 2019, right? Mm -hmm. He sent us like a bunch of pictures and stuff of him. You know what do you call it? like a? I forgot exactly the what the training was, but I think it was like hazmat training for like uh, 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 these you know um, you know particular situations had everything, bro, right? And that was really because see, America knew that they were gonna uh, push out this coronavirus. Mm -hmm. They were getting all these. They're getting every, they were getting everyone prepped up. They knew this was coming, man. Yeah. All right, then what? The the new year comes basically. Yeah. Around February, the end of January, February, what hits? Coronavirus. Now, all of a sudden, you're seeing things spread, man. You're seeing it spread. Very well. And it's going to get, it's going to uh, spread rapidly, man. School is going to start closing. Which already happened. Yep. I'm saying, uh, we're just, you're just going to hear all, you know, CPS, you know, Chicago Public Schools are going to close. Yeah. You're going to hear about a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know how you said your mom is working from home? A lot of brothers who, um, a lot of people who work at like the, these banks and stuff like that, or like corporate America, if you have the ability to work at home, they're telling you stay at home. Yeah. Okay. Like a lot, a lot of these factories are gonna close down because hey, it's not no risk. Uh, that's a lot of mass people that's coming to a factory. So if one person got the coronavirus, the whole factory is gonna be quarantined, man. Yep. It says, back in Zephaniah one and eleven, how you in how the inhabitants of Magtesh. For all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. And Mactesh is basically like an ancient um, Wall Street. It's oh. you know uh, it was a a city of trade. When you like uh, um, do a little research on that, yeah. okay. And um, hey, all these people that are working in the stocks and the trades, hey man, the, these people are losing it, man. Yeah. You see, like when you uh, uh, look at all these articles. You see these guys are like this. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're just like, you know, they're, they're just done, man. They're through. Because what it is, man, they put all their chips in this society. Hey, the brother brought it. Can you get a real quick woe into them that trust into in Egypt? Egypt. Okay, all right? Because these people have put everything that they uh, know, everything that they have in Egypt, man. And see, what's happening now? It's failing. What is it saying? Oh, let me get this real quick. The money's failing in Egypt, man. We... Hey, it says here at um, Genesis 46 and 15. And when the money failed in the land of Egypt uh -huh. and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money faileth. Ooh. The money's failing. 
All right, it did it in the ancient Egypt, and it's gonna happen in this new Egypt that we're it's in. happening now. All right. They say, "Woe to you, rich man, man! You shall how, why, uh, how, and, and, and more uh, now, man, because yeah. hey, all you uh, rich men, you're gonna feel it too. You're not gonna uh, your, your gold or your money is not gonna deliver you in that day. Yep. Hey, all those things is gonna uh, crash, man. Yep. You're gonna be brought low too. Welcome to the party, man. Yeah. <laughs> See, what's so funny about these elites, right? They think that, like, oh, we're going to do all this stuff and, you know, it's going to help us get high. Really, you're actually taking yourself down. Yeah. You're doing all this, and what's going to happen? That's leading to your f destruction. Okay. Yeah, you're going to hide in your, you know, your bunkers and your space cities and your, you know, um, your, you know, like, basically your uh, cities like Atlantis and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, those water cities and stuff. Okay. They got all that stuff, right? You're going to hide from all this thermonuclear destruction. But what's going to happen? Hey, the elect is going to, well, first and foremost, Yahweh was shy. And then along with that is the elect men are going to do what? They're going to hunt you down, take you out of these holes, man, and do what? Throw you into slavery, man. That's right. You're going into hardcore captivity. That's right. And you got a, a, a thousand years of just ass whippings, death, hard work. It, I, mean, I, I don't even know how. Well, I know how you're going to survive because we're going to have spiritual powers to, bring, right. to <laughs> resurrect you. But in a sense, for like you know, for just you know, just that statement, I don't know how you're gonna deal with it. Yeah, and this is Isaiah thirty-one, uh, uh, one. Woe to them that go down to, uh, to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not into the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yep, and that's you know that's you know obviously you know talking about you know our people, all right. But in general, like, it, for all you people, man, all you people have put all your chips in this fucking society, man. And now what's happening, man? Hey, everything's crashing. You're not going to get that W, man. See, what we've done is, yeah, since we've woken up, what have we, uh, what have we done? We put all our chips, like a poker player, we went all in for Yahweh Ba Shem Shah. That's right. And look what's happening. <laughs> we're, 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 we're winning, man. We win. We're winning. And that's it, hey, hey, man. Rock the hell, rock the hell, shot. All praises, y'all, oh, wash it. Y'all, wash me, y'all, shot, man. All right? Because the Lord is, uh, he's, um, keeping his promises, man. The scriptures say he's uh, not a man, he's not gonna lie. That's right. It, it's a beautiful thing. That's right. Okay, it's, it's beautiful. You got more into yeah, that. I got one more. Into, yeah, yeah I got a little more. Bible this is, uh, back in Genesis, uh, 46 and 16. Yeah, yeah. Because it's Joseph. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, there's yeah, a little yeah, bit more. Because yeah, yeah. it goes even into the basically yeah. having that uh, them sell themselves. Yeah. Okay, which uh, that's what these people are going to do. They're going right. to get what? That chip. This is the, uh, Genesis 46 and 16. And Joseph said, Give your cattle, and I will give you for your cattle if money fail. And they brought their cattle unto Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for horses and for the flocks and for the cattle of the herd and for the asses he fed them. Uh, with bread for all their cattle for that year. So, you know, they, you got you, certain people, man. They got their farms. They got things like that. They're selling it because they have no money. Nope. You see, hey, cause right now, hey, you, these farmers here in America, they're Ooh. taking L's, man. A lot of them are committing suicide because they can't rebound. Okay? They, they won't. Yep. And they won't. Yep. Verse 18. When that year was ended, they came unto him the second year and said unto him, we will not hide it from my Lord how that our money is spent. My Lord also had our herds of cattle. There is not uh, left in the sight of my Lord but our bodies and our lands. You see, your people are going to do what at first? You're going to sell what? Your houses? Mm -hmm. your, you're going to give back your cars? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can get, you know, some uh, some uh, food, man. That's right. And what does it say here? Wherefore, shall we die before thy eyes, both we and our land? Buy us in our land for bread. And we, in our land, will be servant unto Pharaoh, and give us seed that we may live and not die, and the land be not desolate. All right. And Joseph brought all the land, bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh for the Egyptians, so every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them, so the land became Pharaoh's. Okay. And then after that, you know, hey, they, they, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna read everything because it's too much. But hey, at the very end, what did they do, man? They sold themselves, man. Like you people. You people are going to sell yourselves. And how are you going to do that? You're going to take that RFID microchip, which you're, you're uh, uh, acknowledging that Esau Edom is your master and, and you're the slave. That's right. And that, that, that he's your power in God. 
All right? And there's a punishment for that. For, well, for you heathens, it doesn't matter. But for Israelites, if you take that RFID chip, That's death. that is death. That, that, you are now betraying Yahweh Hashem Yahweh That's the ultimate betrayal. Yep. Okay? And you're going to get brought up on charges of treason, man. All right? The Lord's going to destroy you. That's right. Let's get that. This is uh, Revelation 14. And, um, verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive oh. his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without measure into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and breast uh, stone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. And that's what uh, you're going to get, that judgment of Yahweh Shemarah When all these uh, missiles, or when the Lord returns, period, man. Because guess what? The Lord's going to get it in, too. He's going to shoot laser beams in. And these uh, UFOs were really um, <laughs> uh -huh. IFOs, right? <laughs> it's going to get it in, too, man. Hey, we can't wait till the Lord destroy this place because all the wickedness uh, it have uh, been promoted against the against the Lord, man. Time, you got a hey, shalom, Makim, that are on the comment board. Shalom. There's uh, there's two comments I got to read. Shalom. It is heavy. One of the brothers said in uh, Russia, they said they implemented a five year sentence for those who break quarantine laws. Oh, okay. Then one of the brothers um, said that Governor um, J P uh, Pritzker. Out here in uh, Illinois, mm -hmm. declares coronavirus disaster after four new cases, uh, basically have been um, uh, have been uh, uh, found out, man. And it's a total of what they say is eleven. Hey, that's so spiritual because that's the that's I think that's the uh, government that said that um, um, in two months, hey, prepare uh, Americans because in two months your life in the chain is going to be real difficult, man. I believe that's the man. That's crazy. That's the spirit because man, hey, and they know. And these next two months, really in the next, man, couple weeks, man. And they know how, how severe this this virus is going to spread. And it's going to be, man, chaos, man. People is going to be locked down. They know martial law is coming, man. This could really be the year, man. Come on, what time is it? Yeah, we got a few more minutes. Let's get these last precepts. What you got on? Come on, I got this, uh, this, uh, Salakia. This uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1. Mm, yeah. It says, Remember now the Creator in the day of thy youth, while the evil day come not, nor the uh, years uh, draw nigh, when the death shall say, I have no pleasant in them, man. And that's what it is. Return to the Lord, man. Because evil days is coming, man. Bad days is coming. That's what uh, evil days going to. Bad times, man. It say, When the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be darkened, nor the cloud return out of the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong man shall bow himself, and the grainy cease, because guess what? It ain't going to be no jobs out here. And all these people that trust in the stock market is going to crash, man. It say, uh, because they are few, and those that look out the window be darkened, man. And it's not going to be nothing left out here, man. Nothing till you can do you're going to be on total lockdown, man. Verse 4, and the door, uh, the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sign of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And that's what it, this music is garbage, man. It's being brought low. And when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and an armor tree shall forest, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Everything that you thought you was going to do, everything you wanted to do, is going to fail upon, uh, upon society, man. Yeah, everything that you trust in, is going to be no more, man. It say, because man go, go up to his long house and morning, go about the streets, man. And that's, that's proven martial law, man. And that's what's coming to you people, man. To a, to, to a theater near you, man. Soon, hopefully in the next month or two, man. There ain't no summer, man. Is that it? Yeah, come on. All right, come on, come on. Just end it off with second, the second Ezra. This is uh, second Ezra 15. And um, uh, back in second Ezra 15 and 14, now it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, 
And one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hand. All right, and it's going to be all sorts of uh, uh, battles, man. You have race riots, you're going to have class riots, food riots, <laughs> just uh, sex riots, man. Because you're going to have women that are going to target men, men yeah, targeting uh -huh. women. Yeah. It, it is going to get wild out here. It, it, there's, it says in um, I think it's Second Ezra, the thirteenth or fourteenth chapter, talks about one realm shall fight another. You're oh, going to have you're going to have uh, the angels come fight the, uh, the uh, these uh. These heathens and two thirds, man, it's gonna get wild out here. And it says, verse sixteen: For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that goes into uh, uh when uh, at some point, man, the the common man is not gonna worry about if this is a a governor, a president, a mayor, all right, and an alderman, so on and so forth, all right. They don't care. They're gonna. It's gonna be as the. Uh, it's gonna be a dog eat dog world. Okay. That's right. And it says here, um, verse seventeen: A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And we're seeing that uh, you know around the world, and we're seeing uh, signs here in America. That's and right. trust me, it's gonna get worse. You know, because you know I'm speaking as man. You know, there's gonna be different levels of martial law. It's gonna start off, you know, at a low level. And it's going to slowly escalate. So it's going to get to a point where it's... If you cross a certain line, man, it's going to be killed on sight. You cross that line, you're going to get shot and put them down, man. You know? Alright? This stuff is going to get that uh, serious. You know? And it says, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And that's why all this is coming, because of the, the pride. It's got to get brought down low. Alright? Because look, pride comes with ideologies, man. All right, and these ideologies are against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So right. what is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna do? He's gonna put you guys in the worst case scenario. That's right. right. And um, y'all get this last one, verse nineteen: A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right. So hey, these things are coming. And they're worldwide, but they're they're about to hit America, man. They life is about to change, man. The life that we know it is about to just it, it's about to be it's about to end. That's right. Cause even you know right now, in a sense, we're comfortable. You know what I mean? Things are about to get real uncomfortable. We're gonna have to hey, pray to Yahweh about Shai. We're gonna have that we got we're gonna have to have that faith, that strength. Okay. We're gonna have to, uh, uh, as the scriptures say. Uh, um, put off the the, 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 uh, weak the weak nature because we're about to see stuff that's gonna even make us like you know uh, uh, have our stomachs uh, our stomachs turn, man. Yeah, they say the righteous shall be scarcely saved. So it's going to see some things that man we never seen, man. Yep. But hey, as long as we have that faith in Yah, Bashem El Shai, man, hey, we're gonna make it through. Yep. Hey, it say what well, uh, in in the ses in the seventh trouble. Uh, uh, can I get his yeah. Joe the left? Yeah. Bible we'll just end off with that. <laughs> it's, Job, deal, it's Job. It's uh, Job five. Uh, um, nineteen. It said, "He shall deliver thee in the sixth trouble. Yet in the seventh, there shall no evil touch thee. Mm. And famine, he shall redeem thee from death and war from the power of the sword. And that shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it come at destruction and famine." They shall laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee, man. And that's what's coming. Hey, the Lord is gonna protect his man and the Lord in that day. We're gonna get those spiritual powers, Lord willing, man. And, and guess what? Ain't nothing's gonna to happen to us. Even though things gonna be happening on the left side and on the right side, man. People gonna get put in the death. Uh people gonna drop dead, man. People are going to see apparitions, and none of those things shall touch us. Because guess what? It tells you in Second uh, the uh, through faith, by your works, you shall be saved, man. Mm -hmm. And we've been putting in that work for you. How about some other side? And he's going to uh, uh, help us in a time of trouble, man. That's right. And with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. You know, hey, just I can stay strong. Stay prayed up, you know. Hey, be charitable. Uh -huh. You know, hey, be, you know, uh, you know just hey, do for your brother. And just, you know, just stay, you know, focused and locked in, man. 
And with that, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom and the Bible ball. Shalom and the Bible ball.